Dude, th these states are big, man. But anyway, we got Whatever. the band at a mirror match. I actually played Steven Shark in Pool's last Smash and Splash. And he used Ganondorf, but I know he had a fledgling <laughs> Bayonetta, so I guess he's been investing his time pretty wisely since then. I was going to say, that's quite an upgrade. So it looks like we're on Smashville for this game one. Uh, you know, okay. <laughs> Not a huge surprise. MDVA Classic? Yeah, Pretty it much is. the Worldwide Classic at this point. Yeah. Oh, the single hits, and that's all it takes. Mistake with the, the drown tag, but literally just... Drowning his opponent right there. Yeah, I, that's just you see that happen all the time. We've seen it with a bunch of other characters. Mario can get that single hit. Peach has gotten it before with her umbrella. Samus, well, that's not the single hit, but you know, it's just no, one it of those. Be, yeah, can, the, yeah, the spark. Yeah, so uh, that happens with every character, and it looks like Bayonetta is another one. His mistake takes that first stock super early. He just let himself take seventy or ninety damage for the rage. That was it. <laughs> yeah, just need that single hit to bring you a couple of percent higher. Either way, Mistake in full control of this match and sensing the panic from Steven Shark. Knew he needed to do something to get back on the stage. One of my least favorite things about fighting her, but if I played Bayo, would be my favorite thing about her, is that she can just disrespect you out of the disadvantage state so hard yes. with ABK. Just mash on that. You're getting back to the stage. You're potentially getting a full combo out of it. And, of course, she travels so far. Yeah, and it did look like Steven Shark had something good happening on the right side of the stage. He had Mistake with his back to the wall on that platform. It just looked like the execution was slightly off. He had the turnaround grab facing in the wrong direction. He was so close to maybe making it happen, but now Mistake has slipped out of that situation, and he's back in neutral with a firm lead. Yeah, this is not looking great for Steven Shark. He had such a strong start, but, oh, anything can happen, man. Yeah. Not only is it Smash 4, effectively the Wild West of fighting games, yeah. but it's also Bayonetta dittos. Well, either way, solid backer. Going to close that one out. Yeah, he got kicked in the head, unfortunately. That up smash was almost there. It's just maybe a little bit too late. Maybe like a second off, and that's just enough for Mistake to be able to take his uh, take his chance. And boy, can we talk about Mistake's meteoric rise through Smash. I mean, yeah. you got to be honest, he's probably one of the favorites to take the tournament. He's got to be in the top three. Uh, yeah, easily. And hold up. Mistake? Oh, wait. Mistake picked it. Yeah, yeah, I thought so, yeah, but... Weird. Yeah, the, the pictures are switched, but um, either way, I was going to say, like, big disrespect pick here. Going Robin, a character I don't think I've ever seen this guy play before. Not once, no. Got a very strong Zero Suit Samus. That was his initial comeuppance in the Smash scene. He made it all the way to second in Ontario yeah. behind Black Twins with that character, but since the advent of his Bayonetta, he's just been an unstoppable force. Yeah, th this is definitely a character I've never seen him play before. Like you said, he's got the Zero Suit in the pocket, but Robin is uh, is brand new as he's pulling it out against Steven Shark. Maybe trying to make a statement? You know, Bay Bayonetta's not too busted? I don't know what he's thinking, but... I think it's, like, purely a sign of dominance. He just wants to say, all right, we had a fairly close Bayonetta mirror, but I can take you down with a lesser character like Robin. I don't know if I agree with this, though. I mean, one of the favorites to win the tournament... If he drops this game, let's go back to Steven Shark's great start in yeah. game one. This could be mistaken losers really early. Steven yeah. Shark does not look like a, a dumb player. He's not falling for the down throw forward smash or anything. Yeah. Gets up with the nair off on the side. He's going to have to recover. There's the nair. Excellent tech, but unfortunately he's in a bad position. Only gets hit by the tilt, though. Nothing really coming out of that. Potentially a missed input on the smash. Yeah, you have to imagine. Just gonna see him kind of them crawling around, gets the forward throw, has him off on the side again, mistaken after recover, goes for the aggressive option, doesn't hit it, and he went for the grab, yeah. Now both of these players really looking for a stock here, Robin only needs a grab, Bayo, by the edge, she only needs a grab, but right. although she can kill you from nearly any percent, she actually kind of has to work for it once you get up there. You'll be popping out of Witch Twists and ABKs in pretty unfavorable angles, going a little too far for her. You might be able to get like a down tilt into an up air, um, but it, it really does depend on Rage, Percent. He eventually does get the Nair. And like you said, man, Mistake kind of trailing at this point. Have to wonder uh, how this is going to pan out for him, because I, I feel like if he loses this game, he's going to go back to Bayonetta. But Steven Shark didn't look like a slouch in the ditto, so who Absolutely knows? not. I kind of want to see him take this game just so we could have a potential upset on the table. Same. He's doing quite well so far, but the checkmate, that down throw to up air from Robin, super reliable. Very rarely do you see that drop. Yeah. See him dancing around, gets the... Ooh! Hold up! Hold up! I right, mistake. Maybe you're on to something. Maybe he knows this stuff. Maybe it was... Pro oh, okay. He goes for the down smash. Almost responded right back, but mistake. DIing in. Was able to get back onto the stage. That was scary. I just got to point out, man, Arc Thunder footstool item drop into Nosferatu. That's such a percent swing. You also get that little bit of healing yep. from the down B. Steven Shark has to be a little bit sweaty after that one, but 
It looks like he's relatively unfazed. Still going for some big hits. The fair one to forward smash, but as a seasoned Bayonetta player himself, I don't think Mistake's the guy to fall for that. Yeah, that's the thing is that that stuff, yeah, he knows where to go all the time. That stuff will hit non-Bayonettas, but Mistake has been playing this character since the very beginning. He knows all the tricks. He knows all the stuff that won't work, and uh, you can see why he's having trouble here. Excellent forward air right there as we've got a pretty even game in terms of percent. Smart to keep his Ooh. up air fresh, but now with this rage, he has to be very selective about the moves he lands because he could knock Bayonetta out of the checkmate range. Oh, oh. does it matter, though? Okay, Mistakes Robin going to claim the set for him. You got it. All right, the Thunder into the forward smash. You can see Steven Star Shark looking a little dejected, unfortunately, but what can you do, man? Sometimes you got to stunt. You just got to... Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he's disappeared. This guy is super stylish, man. Like he was never there.